We're back to Animal Defense Mechanisms. Hey, Give it up to the audience. We have our biologists and zoologists, Alicia and Harris, today talking about mimicry. And we have some questions from the audience. Yes, what was your question over there? Excellent. Excellent. Yes, sir. Do they have, my name is Mizzou. Hi, Mizzou. Do they have any types of um, amphibians that can like, um, have like I think, ah. they, like, I think uh, some, like a puffer, no, oh, like no, maybe octopuses or something else? Uh, I don't, we don't know. Yeah, they didn't study amphibians. Do you know some? Um, well, they have the, um, um, the Ms. Zell, what's your name? Yeah. We'll have you on the show another time. You can talk about that some more. Okay. Great, thank you so much. Yes, question right here. All right, was there anything else you wanted to add before we end our show? Yes. Um, the animal, it, it sounds, it smells, wait, hold on. It sounds, smells, and acts like the animal that it's made of. Wow. So an animal will actually smell like another animal to fool other predators. That's interesting. Huh. Very cool. Do they have to take showers this morning? All right, let's give it up for Harris and Alicia. Great job.